we are at the St. Louis Arch. And right now we're at the bottom. And in a few minutes, we're gonna go all the way to the top, 630 feet above the ground. So come on, let's go. So guys, we are about to get in our tram to go up to the top. It should be about a short four minute ride. So come on with me. So guys, we made it to the top of the arch. Um, as I showed you before, we were in this really small compacted tram and <laughs> it took us about four minutes to get up here and right now we are swaying actually yeah. you, can really, you can actually feel it and if you know anything about tall buildings and monuments they are made to sway to kind of counteract the winds just like the Burj Khalif in Dubai and I know with them in the Taipei and Taiwan, they have what's called a TMD. The temper TMD in there to kind of help stabilize big buildings to help with the pressure from the wind. And right now, we are swaying back and forth. And the arch was actually made to sway at least 18 inches and really high winds when about 50 miles an hour it can sway a maximum of 18 winds and this arch is kind of built uh, with earthquakes in mind so it is earthquake resistant also if you look on the sides they have these little teeny tiny windows here and it's about <laughs> 16 windows on each side. They're very small, about seven by 25 inches. And the reason why they're so small is to withstand pressure. Because if they was bigger, these high winds probably would blow them out. And as you've seen outside, this building is made up of steel, stainless steel. And it is lightning resistant. They have lightning rods inside of them that will help kind of I get struck by lightning and I'm getting a little dizzy in here because we are swaying so much uh, it was today is a very windy day I don't know the, uh, the wind pressure right now but it's very windy on our way in here so the view from the top this is the Missouri side guys from the inside of the arch there's Wahlberg Village. This is the Illinois side. <laughs> right here on the border of Illinois. So this window that I just showed you guys was the St. Louis, Missouri side. The building, the windows on that side is the Illinois side. These are some really tiny windows and they are tiny for a reason to withstand pressure. And it's 16 windows, it's 16 windows all together I believe. I think it's 16 on each side. And they're really tiny, 7 by 27 inches. And on this side here, we got the overview of the St. Louis skyline. We got the courthouse, now the old courthouse. We also have the Cardinal Stadium over there too. And uh, I 
Oh, Anheuser-Busch, I don't think it's a clear view of it, but we are really close to Anheuser-Busch also. Ross and Perino. And Ross and Perino is over there also. And a lot of fancy hotels. And it is so awesome out here. Like I said, I showed you guys a little small tram that we was in. It's very tiny. It can fit five people. It's made to fit five people, but you know, if you're bigger people, then it, it's like I said, it's really tiny. It's, I don't know how big it is. So I can ask the park ranger uh, the next time I see him. But guys, if you never experienced the art, the same as art, yes, you can come up to the top. It only costs twelve dollars to get up here. Twelve dollars for adults. It's a little bit cheaper for the kids. And there's other activities you can get alongside just coming up here in the art. I believe there's a, a cruise or something. We didn't do that. I've been on that boat before. I am from the area, but this is this is only my second time ever coming in the art. The last time I came here was twelve years ago. To 2007, and they were celebrating the 40, I think it's the 40 year anniversary. Um, so it would cost one dollar that day, but today it's twelve dollars. So this is how much it costs on a normal day. They do have two trams on each leg of the arch, but I believe only one of them is working today. So we came up with the south tram. Like I said, it's a four, four minute ride up to the top. It's not very fast, so you won't have to worry about getting dizzy. You probably won't have to worry about getting dizzy when you get up here because, like I said, today is a very windy day. It is still swaying back and forth, and that's okay because if this arch or any tall buildings didn't sway, they would have been damaged a long time ago. And as I said before, if you ever been to Dubai and ever visit the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world, by the way, you would definitely feel the swaying, but they have what is called TMDs in there to help stabilize that swaying, but it's still going to sway, like I said. But that's okay, that's the beauty of science and the beauty of exploring. You get to feel what it's like to sway back and forth in a building like this. But, like I said, if you've never been here, I highly, highly recommend you come in here. And I'm going to get some more photos to show you guys what you've been missing. And shame on me for only coming, only being my second time coming in the arch and I live like 20 minutes from here. What's wrong with me, right? It's beautiful. Have you ever seen the arch at nighttime? Oh my goodness, they have these spotlights down at the bottom that shines on the arch. So I'm not driving on the highway at home. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. It is breathtaking. Like I said, I see this arch at least four or five times a week and I still get blown away. It's still like me bubbly. It's like, it's just so beautiful. Oh my God, thank you guys. So guys, it's about wrap it up up here. Um, we're going to go back downstairs. Um, a lot of movement for today on this very windy day inside the St. Louis Arch. And I strongly encourage you to at least visit the St. Louis Arch one time in your life where you will never regret it. It is so beautiful in here. The views are amazing to just be overlooking two states at once, Illinois and Missouri. So, like I said, um, I'll leave a description for the website that you can go on if you want more information about the art. Maybe you want to see how it was built or any questions that I probably can't answer. I'm pretty sure the website will be able to help you out with anything you may need. But I appreciate you and thank you for watching.